Hello everyone, after learning so much about heredity, you must be thinking it is the basis of evolution because traits are transferred from one generation to the next through heredity. But you know nature can alter the flow with many surprises. Let us see how. For this, let us take a few examples. Say, some red beetles live in a green bush. As we already know, in the sexual reproduction, there is a scope for generating variations. Say, suddenly a new variation of green beetle appears. Now, as we know, Crows and other birds eat beetles, but green beetle can easily hide in the green bushes and thus have a higher chances of survival compared to the red ones. Correct? So, green beetles survive and pass on the color to the next generation. As green beetles have a higher survival rate, its ratio starts to increase. That is, there are more green beetles compared to the red beetles. Also, the progeny of red beetles mostly gets eaten, so their number decreases. In a second situation, say, again a color variation arises during reproduction, but now it results in a beetle that is blue in color and its progeny would be blue in color. Now crows can easily see the blue beetle on green leaves so they get eaten too easily. From this point of view we can tell both red and blue beetles are at disadvantage. Now say something unexpected happens. A herd of elephants passes and few elephants stamp on the bushes killing most of the beetles and assume most of the beetles that survived are blue in color. So the new beetle population will be mostly blue in color. In both the cases whether green beetle or blue beetle a rare variation became a common characteristic in the population. So we see the frequency of inherited trait may change because of sudden unexpected development or appearance of variation that is more suitable for survival. And this is the essence of the idea of evolution. In the first case, that is of green beetle, the variation gave the beetle a survival advantage as crows could not spot them on green leaves. This was naturally selected. That's why beetles with that trait flourished and became dominant in the population. Thus, in this case, natural selection was directing evolution in the beetle population. And what happened in the second case? Well. In the second case of blue beetles, an accident changed everything. The blue color didn't give any survival advantage. This is the notion of genetic drift which provides diversity without any adaptations. Now, what if there is scarcity of food which has always been a common challenge for survival, right? Say. Beetle population expanded a lot but suddenly the bushes started suffering from a plant disease and the amount of leaf that is food for the beetles is reduced. Now the beetles are poorly nourished as the result of scarcity of food. So the average weight of adult beetles decreases from what it used to be when the leaves were plentiful. But there won't be any genetic changes. So, low weight is not a trait that can be inherited by the progeny of a starving beetle. Therefore, even if some generations of beetles are low in weight, 
because of starvation that is not an example of evolution since the change is not inherited over generations so we see changes in the non reproductive tissues cannot be passed on to the dna of the germ cells and therefore we can say the experiences of an individual during its lifetime cannot be passed on to its progeny and cannot direct evolution for example if you have learned to play guitar very well it doesn't mean that your progeny will know how to play guitar right from birth to prove this some experiments were done scientists bred some mice now their tails were surgically removed the process was followed continuously for many generations yet all the new generations of the tailless mice were born with tails and this is because removal of tail and the inconveniences faced because of that didn't affect the genes then you may wonder how did new species with new abilities and new features evolve well we shall understand this in the next class until then bye bye